everybody! Thanks for stopping by! I thought today I would talk a little bit about the yarn needle or wool needle that a lot of you see me use in our tutorials. Once upon a time I used a metal darning needle. It's something that looks kind of like this and it's very small, it's metal, it looks like a typical needle um, just with a much larger eye and that's fine and if this is what you, you use it's great, that's what I've been using for a long time but then I discovered wool needles and this is the needle you typically see me use now. It's a narrow aluminum shaft with a, a plastic large eyed loop which is very flexible. I can squeeze it, um, it, it sort of moves around and it's firmly attached to that aluminum shaft. I started using these because I found they were much easier to thread up and I also love that the shaft is all one size. So unlike a typical needle, and I've got some plastic versions of them here, where the shaft might be all one size but then it's got to get really big at the end to accommodate that eye, a wool needle doesn't really have to worry about that because if you're pulling your yarn through a tiny little tight stitch, then the wool needle with the plastic loop eye squeezes through the stitch to accommodate the size of the stitch. So that's why I started using them. Obviously, a lot of you like them and have been wondering where I got them. So I thought today I would tell you some of the places you can look to find them. These are typically called wool needles or yarn needles, but most of the packaging I've seen them come in are wool needles. They come in sets of three. Uh, this is the package, the original package that all three of mine came in. I've taken the needles out, but it's not a very big package, which I want to make a note of saying because at you know 12 centimeters tall, if you're in a big craft store and you're in the knitting and crochet section and you're looking at that wall of hooks and needles and you're looking for a tiny little thing called a wool needle, then the package can be pretty small and easily overlooked. So you're looking for a small package. Like I said, they come in sets of three. They are, you know, varying lengths, but the loop is usually the same size and typically they're aluminum, but I think you can find them in bamboo too. Okay, so now you know that they're called wool needles and they come in a small package, typically in a set of three. Where do you find them? Well, you can probably find them at your local craft store or wherever you buy your knitting and yarn supplies or the craft section of a larger department store. But if you can't find them locally, you've exhausted the local resources, maybe you don't have anywhere nearby that you can buy your crafting supplies, then we have a link in our description box down below to the craft supplies section of our website. So we have a shop page that link will take you directly there and you'll find two different listings on that page for two different sets of these wool needles. One's a pretty colored set and one of them looks a little more like mine, sort of the three uh, same colored aluminum needles. Now they don't have to be aluminum, I have seen them in bamboo and even plastic, but I like the aluminum because they kind of remind me of the rest of my crochet hooks and they're a little firmer, so plastic might break, um, I don't know if you might find some wooden hooks could, need, could have a little bit of burring on them. So if you can get the aluminum ones, these ones specifically are by H.A. Kid um, or anybody else who sells specifically aluminum wool needles, then I recommend those ones in particular. So for all of you who are wondering what those needles I use are and what they're called and where to find them, I hope this little video helps. <laughs> And that's it! We will see you guys soon. In fact, we will see you Friday for another crochet tutorial. Until then, stay safe, stay crafty, and have a wonderful week. Bye everybody!